Welcome to August's Diabetes Technology Report. In this video, I will get you up to speed on what happened in the diabetes technology world over the last month, and this includes Dexcom's acquisition of Type 0 Technologies. Is Dexcom looking beyond CGMs and transforming into pump or closed loop brand? Also, new pump news. Ipsomet has partnered with JDRF to develop next generation pubs with JDRF's open protocol for insulin delivery systems. Don't panic, I will explain. And also, in the most exciting news, Apple has applied for a US patent for a crucial technology for the non-invasive glucose monitoring Apple Watch, often referred to as holy grail of today's medicine. Don't panic, I will explain that as well. This and so much more is coming your way. Let's kick things off with Dexcom's acquisition of Type 0 Technologies. Type 0 Technologies is a software-based company that creates IT systems and closed-loop algorithms so they can license it to diabetes technology companies. Think of them as a Google equivalent in a diabetes market. So they don't make hardware, they only make software, just like Google for your Samsung phones. Their clientele includes Sensonics, Tesla X2 manufacturer Tandem and Giant Roche. So far, license agreements between those companies are not affected by Dexcom's acquisition. Type 0 artificial pancreas algorithm will be used for the first time in its full capacity on a T Slim X2 in LE 2019 when T Slim X2 receives hybrid closed loop over the year upgrade. So why is Dexcom becoming closed loop technology business? Well, Dexcom's Steve Paselli said that Type 0 is a great fit for Dexcom as we look to deliver a growing set of tools to both our insulin delivery partners and our customers. Of course, this news adds even more fire to recent speculations that Dexcom is planning to take over or merge with insulin pumps manufacturer Tandem. I guess that we'll need to wait to find out if that's true, but in my opinion, Dexcom's primary objective is to control the artificial pancreas algorithm market. Becoming a key player in artificial pancreas algorithm market can turn out to be a lot more profitable than just selling CGMs in the long run. Over to some pump news now, JDRF has agreed to financially support Swiss pump manufacturer Upsomet uh, through a two-year financial grant. This partnership will develop next-generation MyLife pump with JDRF's Open Protocol Automated Insulin Delivery System initiative. Let me explain in a new segment called Camille Explain Something Really Complicated Using a Simple Example. JDRF's Open Protocol initiative works like this. JDRF provides incentives, so money, to develop medical devices with open, secure wireless communication so they can connect with do-yourself artificial pancreas systems such as Loop or Open APS, as well as other medical devices. Main objective of this initiative is to allow devices to connect with each other without manufacturer's restrictions. It's sort of like Apple requires you to buy an iPhone to use your Apple Watch. We don't want that. And this initiative creates a common language for all devices to communicate. This initiative is extremely powerful and I am so happy seeing more companies joining it. The ultimate goal is to have all big diabetes medical companies join this initiative so that in the future you can choose any insulin pump, any CGM and any artificial pancreas system to fully personalize your diabetes technology setup. Over some life-changing news, Apple has been hard at work making its non-invasive blood glucose monitoring Apple Watch. That has been referred to by mainstream media as holy grail of today's medicine. Apple's patent application for reference switch architectures for no contact sensing of substances is a major step forward. Let me explain in your favorite segment called Camille explains something really complicated using a simple example. 
this Apple Watch would be able to read your blood glucose level by just being on your wrist. Apple Watch is currently able to monitor your heart rate, but with this technology, it would do the same with glucose levels. Does that sound like something you've seen in the movies? Yes, it does, because you have. In Panic Room in 2002. Guess what else happened in 2002? Apple won Technical Grammy Award. Coincidence? Probably, yeah. And so this particular patent gives Apple the ability to measure the concentration of a particular substance in a given sample without touching it. This technology uses light and radio waves that are applied on your skin to measure glucose content underneath it. For example, bottom of your current Apple Watch flashes every couple of minutes so your watch can measure your heart rate. Glucose monitoring on your watch would work in exactly the same way. This holy grail in diabetes technology is currently being developed in a separate office and I find it so fascinating how allegedly Steve Jobs himself started this project. And so I will make a video about this non-invasive blood glucose monitoring Apple Watch in the future. So make sure you subscribe to catch that. And so that's it for this month's diabetes technology report with me, Ned Diabetic. I hope you've enjoyed this and yes, I did um, suffer from a hypo during this video, which I'm actually really not happy but i'm actually really happy that this happened on camera because the whole point of doing this ipad thing is to show you the real life of being a type 1 diabetic and um the difference between some clips there was like a 30 minute gap between recording one scene and the other scene so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this make sure you give it a like and let me know what you think about all of the things i've discussed in this video in the comments and make sure you subscribe and uh, turn on the notifications if you like diabetes technology see you in the next one bye bye